Hi, Bob Grinier here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I am looking at the Vega Valley sample, and I have a bright LED off to one side, and I'm going to move this around so that you can see the kind of depth in the valleys and with a different shifting lighting position. So it really is quite deep. So it'd be nice to look at this with a laser microscope and get a really good understanding of the geometry. And change the lighting so slightly above so that you get more of the colour on it. And then back down. Very glancing angle. It's like sunrise or sunset across the Colorado River. Now, I have an idea when we were looking at our previous video, I noticed that there were some of these kernels knocked off and I suspect that I might be able to set them free by turning this upside down and tapping on it. And that would give us the opportunity to um, maybe see if any of them are magnetic. Okay. So give me a sec and I will do that. So sure enough, uh, some material came off and this is it set next to a one euro coin for scale and uh, it's a little brownie black so we're going to see if we can move any of that around with a strong neodymium magnet so i've got a neodymium magnet uh, very similar to uh, one of these um, underneath like that and I'll focus on that, then one of these underneath. And I am going to see if there are any magnetic things in this material. So let's move it. Oh, hold on, there we go. Mm. Oh, hello, okay. I'll run out of space. Oh, dear, what happened there? Okay. Well, it's not the best demonstration, but there's definitely a few pieces over there that like to follow the magnet. So, no prizes for guessing where the magnet is. Anything else in there? Oh, there's a couple more. Want to move? Let's zoom out a little. Yeah, there's a couple of bits in there that are magnetic. Now, all of this material. Um, supposedly, is from brass, ostensibly, uh, and that is mostly copper and zinc, and possibly a little bit of lead, and possibly a little bit of tin. And none of those are what we would call magnetic materials, so the fact that we have a couple of bits here moving around is interesting. Now what I will do is I will look at these pieces here that are responding to the magnetism, look at similar sized pieces over there with a the microscope and see uh, what difference, if any, there are between them. So those pieces there, it appear to be able to be influenced by the magnet. So this is supposedly the pieces that are magnetic. And uh, I don't really look They look coppery, don't they? This little fellow is quite weird. 
So definitely looks like it came from that material, but it is magnetic, which is interesting. This is a magnetic bit, so we shall go and see what non-magnetic bits are like. Look at that one. It's weird, they seem to be orienting themselves. You can see the paper fibres underneath. Oh, that was just jumped. It's interesting, they're magnetic but they don't particularly like to clump, so I guess they're ferromagnetic, they're not actually got any magnetism in them. So are they converted to nickel or manganese or iron? Or something more interesting, like samarium or gadolinium. It'd be interesting to find out. Anyway, there we go. That is the magnetic particles. Let's go and have a look at the other particles, which are somewhere over here. I'll zoom out a bit. Try and find them. They're somewhere over here. <laughs> Okay, so these are the non-magnetic particles. And, uh, they do look like fragments from our valley. Collection of these kernels, there's individual kernels there that appear to have come apart, or dropped off. Look, there's a nice one there. These are non-magnetic, or rather, not influenced by a magnet pieces. Most of them are these kernels. It's an attractive looking piece there, isn't it? What makes something pink like that? <laughs> there you go. So what I will do is I will try and put this in a little sample container. There's maybe... There you go, there's some individual kernels there. the extent of 
the fragments that came off. It's a very silvery looking one there. That is like a completely different colour. What is that? Is it glassy? Would you say that's glassy? Looks like light's going through it, doesn't it? What is that doing there? What is that doing there? What glass is it? Glass of what? Here that looks a little bit glassy. Look at that. That definitely looks glassy to me. I don't know about you. It looks glassy to me. So, has this made some silicon? Is that silicon oxide? Is it a metal glass? Hmm. Yeah. Whoever thought. Some dust would be so fascinating. Okay, so I'm going to get this in the sample container. Thank you very much for your time.